All right, so did you get it? Let's get back to the solution. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna make a, like a variable to represent our degree in Fahrenheit. So let's say, you know, uh, degree, I'm gonna give this a meaningful variable and F is equal to 90. So I'm gonna be, it's gonna be 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 90.3 actually. And I'm gonna make a function or a procedure so proc, and I'm gonna call this Fahrenheit to Celsius or F uh, F to C, right? Very short name. And my input's gonna be a float, of course. That's how you wanna represent the temperature. So I'm gonna make this, you know, degree F, and this is gonna be float. And the return type will be float as well. And now we can bring in uh, our procedure. Okay, so if you look up Fahrenheit to Celsius, we can see that this is the formula they use to convert uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, so they're taking the degree in Fahrenheit, they subtract 32 first, then they multiply it by 5 over 9. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the same thing, we're just going to copy that. Okay, so we're going to say var result is equal to we're going to take that degree, so we're going to take degree F, we're going to subtract 32, we're going to multiply by 5 over 9, and that's going to be our result, and of course we're going to return that result, so we're going to return result, okay, so there you go, we converted from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and now we can do an echo statement to confirm our calculations, we can say echo uh, degree in F, we're gonna make this Fahrenheit is equal to, and then our degree in Celsius, so F to C, and then we're gonna call degree F, and then is equal to this Celsius. Okay, so this should work. And I'm gonna click run. So undeclared identifier degree F. Oh, sorry, degree in Fahrenheit. Okay, run. And as you can see, it's saying, hey, 90.3 Fahrenheit is equal to 32.3888 Celsius. Okay, so our method works, or again, our procedure works, and uh, that's how you convert, or that's how you do uh, um, the calculation to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Anyways, I hope this lecture was helpful. And uh, I'll see you next lecture. Peace.